My name is Katie Martinez. I am a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Michigan and at the VA. So I grew up in Alexandria, Virginia, which is right outside of DC. I have to admit, I was not interested in pursuing a research career. I was horrible at science. I was horrible at math. I literally took like remedial math um, in high school. I think I took math pass fail. I went to college at Carnegie Mellon, which is in Pittsburgh. Um, I majored in history. And while I was in Pittsburgh, at, at Carnegie Mellon, I really got a chance to see how the built environment affects health, and I started to really understand social determinants of health, why some communities suffer disproportionately from health problems than others, and how the built environment and social policies affect health in the community. I then decided to go to UCLA, and I pursued a master's in public health. I got diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 27. That fundamentally changed my entire life. I went through a year and a half of chemotherapy, double mastectomy, um, all sorts of other treatments. I was very ill uh, and I was very scared, but it also gave me an opportunity to sort of use my public health background and my interest in health in general to see how women were not receiving the same types of care um, the, for breast cancer dependent on their race or their class, insurance status. And these disparities started to really make me galvanized around getting in and doing something more regarding public health and improving breast cancer care. As I was recovering from my chemotherapy, I decided finally to learn math. Uh, I literally enrolled in a class and decided that I was going to learn as much math as I possibly could because I really wanted to do a research career and I wanted to pursue a PhD. And now I'm in a research career um, oriented towards cancer care, and I was extremely fortunate to land in the CATS group to be able to continue pursuing this topic further. It's an interesting team to be in working in the CATS group because it is a, a mixture of physicians and PhD level researchers and master's trained researchers, which is a really exciting group to work in because there are so many people with different backgrounds coming together to work on the same topic. It's really fun. Um, we have a lot of interesting ideas and heated discussions sometimes, which make life very interesting. And it also makes our science extremely forward thinking because everybody is always bringing new ideas to the table. The research that I do is m mainly focused on improving quality of life for people with cancer. I'm also interested in looking at how people make decisions for different types of cancer treatments um, or different types of cancer screenings. So I do a lot of quantitative analysis using statistical software, which might sound really boring, but I actually find it really fun. There's a lot of things in life that don't give you immediate gratification. Uh, when you're doing statistical analysis, you get immediate gratification because you are crunching numbers and you're getting output and you're learning things um, all day long. This is an example of a manuscript that my co-authors and I have been working on for about a year and a half. And you can see that a lot of this paper is actually marked up with red marks. And that's because co-authors are constantly collaborating on what parts of the manuscript need to be clarified, especially how we should interpret results in the context of the broader literature. I get to investigate the topics that I'm most interested in. I, you know, in general, I make my own schedule. And I think, honestly, because of the freedom, you actually wind up working more, um, but enjoying it more while you're working all the time. I don't really feel like I even have a job. This doesn't feel like a job. It feels like a team. It feels like, I mean, it almost feels like summer camp sometimes. It's like we're all working on a group project together and everybody is excited to talk about what we're working on or what the next steps are and everybody's just really fired up. It's just like, if you can think of, you know, the worst group project you've ever worked on where nobody is actually participating, this is the opposite. This is a great, functional, productive, and fun group of people to work with. Um, and I feel that way about everyone in the department, everybody on this floor, everybody I pass in the cafeteria. Everyone's just really committed to what we're working on. So it just always feels like a lot of fun.